My name is Blair Sinta. My name is Victor Andrizzo. My name is Michael Iveson. My name is Joey Warren Kerr. My name is Aaron Sterling, and, and I, I play, play DW, DW Symbol Stance. There was never a question for me. I always thought DW hardware was the strongest and most durable. In fact, I have uh, most of my road hardware is the same stuff I've had uh, for 10 years. So it lasts that long and counting. I've been a big fan for a long time, and I, I remember the very first record I ever did was actually on a, a DW kit and hardware back in 89. I remember going out to tour the factory back then and, and being uh, wildly impressed. You know, stuff lasts for decades, and it's like uh, there's pieces in my studio that I have DW stuff that I have no idea. It's probably, you know, older than my oldest child, so, which is old. I've been playing it pretty much since I could afford to buy it. It's just really great. I mean, I've always used it. Uh, touring with Gautier, we do a lot of TV shows. Whatever backline company, wherever it is in the world, will have DW hardware and pedals, and they always seem to work. They just don't break. In fact, I ran over a 5,000 pedal with my car when I was really late for a wedding gig. And um, all I had to do was replace the base plate and Good to go, it lasted me another five or six years. I've been playing DW cymbal stands for about five years. I played other stuff in the past, yeah, and it just, yeah, and the DW stuff didn't feel as mass produced to me, I guess, and it, um, it just kind of appealed to my design sense. I always sort of, you know, cared about, care about how things are built and how they look and how they function. No, I, no joke. I, I've been playing uh, DW 5000 pedals for a very long time. I've had DW hardware in general for a very long time. Truthfully, I think I, I had a DW kit when I was 14, so the obvious thing was like all the hardware that comes with it, and it's always seemed the best. Yeah, and I've played, I've seen other hardware symbol stands that I was telling you that very strange things that are non-intuitive and this stuff always makes sense. Everything makes sense. It's very smart. It's never going to go anywhere. Everything stays. The memory locks, all that stuff. Yeah, it's awesome. One of my favorite features is the adjustable cymbal seat right here. So I can make my cymbals super floppy. Uh, sometimes you show up and they're like this and they don't move. <laughs> That's not good. There we go. Super floppy. This is great too, uh, especially on snare stands or anything uh, because if it feels like it's in the wrong spot, you put it anywhere you need it. Check this out. This is pretty cool. The felt stays with the top and with the bottom here. So when you pull your cymbal stands off, your cymbals off your stands, your felts don't go flying under your bass drum where you can't find them or your hi-hat or wherever they tend to go where they're impossible to see. So no more losing felts. Pretty awesome. I can't tell you how many times there, you know, you go to uh, whip a cymbal off really quick, and maybe you're in the studio or you're live and your felt goes flying and then you're like scrambling around everywhere. And if you're as blind as I am, it's really becomes extra bad. So this right there, that's to me is genius. Yeah. Again, like when you need to do stuff fast and on the fly. And for me, it's like sometimes you can set up and it might be you just need to move something just barely a scooch to make it seem right. And, I think DW always thinks of way, they think like drummers. It's like drummers thinking like drummers and they know what you need. And uh, that's what I appreciate. I'm pretty into this, I gotta say. I didn't even realize it happened. And then uh, it arrived and here it is. I guess the guys who design this stuff is, you know, they're as neurotic as me. And uh, think about these little details and, and, and do a great job of it. Uh, I'm pretty impressed by it. I love it. I absolutely love it. And I don't, I'm not just saying that. I'm usually this guy. I don't usually have these on at all. So for me, it's like two to three less things to have to sit on the floor. But again, it's like, I can't imagine you would want this felt on here without this. So you might as well couple them together. It's great. I think it's super, super awesome. And then this also, I like that this, this can come off, but clearly isn't going to fall off or if, if the cymbal stand was sort of upside down, if you're moving it, it's not gonna fall off. Uh, yeah, I love it, I think it's awesome. Some of my favorite cymbal stands are uh, the 6000 series, which are really light. They look retro and really cool, and if you have to carry them around town, uh, super light, and you know, you can just make life much easier. This, the double brace stuff is a little more road worthy, and um, it all looks pretty cool. 
lightweight stuff for in the studio and kind of just situations like uh, my friend Blair said, like, you know, when you got to go uh, around town, you don't want to carry like a bunch of heavy cymbal stands. It's great to have light a lighter set that you can just set up really easy and not break your back. Pretty nice. I tour with the 9000 and uh, at home I have the flat based vintage look just because I'm vain. Um, but uh, my drum tech prefers to take the heavier stuff out in the road just in case. I use these so I'm, I'm kind of excited about the new, the flat bass thing where it can be, uh, you know, not quite a flat bass. So yeah, this, this is great how uh, you can set it up like that and then you have space. So you know, you can stack them e easier. But I love these. These are these are amazing. Yeah, I, I'm open to anything. I mean, I have a drum tech who just sort of tells me, you know, what he thinks is more appropriate for setting things up and all that. And I've always been cool with what I have, but I'm super open to it because I saw the the really lightweight stuff. It looks good, and you know, I don't hit usually that hard anyway. So I'd be totally open to it. Yeah, I like a lot of it. This is Blair Sinta. My name is Victor Andrizzo. My name is Michael Iverson. My name is Joey Warnker. My name is Aaron Sterling. Please go check out DW Symbol Stands on dwdrums.com.